One of the new releases that Canva dropped during Droptober is the ability to have polls and quizzes that you can create within Canva. And here's how you're going to do that. So when you have your design opened up, you're going to go over here to the elements tab in the object panel on the left hand side. So we'll click here. And then if you scroll down, now you'll see polls and quizzes. So let's go ahead and I'll duplicate this one and let's get rid of this. And let's say that we want to do a quiz, right? So this is something that allows us to have like a correct answer and we can actually mark what the correct answer is. So once you just click on it, it's going to be automatically added to your canvas. And then up here in the top toolbar, you'll click on edit. And then over here, we can change what the header is going to be. Or if we don't want any header, we can just toggle this off. So we'll put that on for now. And let's say that we wanted to do a question. Is it possible to create a poll and quiz within Canva? And then we can adjust the quiz options. Say yes, nope, and what you talking about, Willis? All right, and then you can see that this little check mark is indicating that that is the correct answer. So obviously that's wrong. This is the correct answer here. So if we click on more on these three dots, we can say that we want this one to be marked as correct. Then of course you can add new options and then you can change what you want the submit button to say. And then you can adjust the colors to match whatever your branding. And then when you're ready for this to go live, then what you would do is go over to share and you're going to do a public view link right here. And we'll create this public view link here and we're gonna copy this link. And then that's going to be what you send to anybody that you want to take this. So here's what it will look like when someone opens up that link, they'll be able to see your presentation or your design, and then they'll be able to interact with it right here. If you're using a quiz with right and wrong answers, this is what it will look like for the user. So they'll be able to select their answer, and then when they submit, it will show as green. But if they choose the wrong answer and they were to say, nope, then it's going to show as red and then show them what the correct answer should be. And then as everybody starts answering the poll or the quiz, you'll be able to see those responses. So right here, I could click on my quiz and at the top toolbar, I'll go to responses and then I'll be able to see all of the different answers over here. So I'll give you an example of one that is live for me right now that I sent out to my email list. So this is one that's currently live and you know it's live because it says 16 votes and it's got this little green dot right here. So if I click on this one and go up to responses, I can actually view the answers, the way that people are responding to this. If they were logged into their Canva account when they filled this out, then I'll see their name there as well. So it's a really fun way to engage with your audience. And as you can see, this was one that I used just to engage with my audience and ask them about like the end of the year. But then at the very end, I said, hey, how can I best help you achieve your goals in 2025? So it kind of gives me a little bit of insight into how to show up for them next year. Hopefully this helped you learn how to create polls and quizzes in Canva. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help.